Up next we have a video game. This one is going to be Gotham Knight. Now first, Gotham Knights, excuse me. Now first off, this, sorry, this logo is amazing. Whoever designed this, good in my book. Um, they are awesome. I love the way that they use the word knights to sort of put on the bottom and make the points of the bat symbol. I thought that was a great idea. Uh, now this is a video game which is going to be post Batman's Arkham games, whatever you want to call it, the Arkham series, uh, post Arkham Knight. So if you have not played Arkham Knight, some of this may not make sense or you just may be confused or don't even care at all. I don't know. So essentially, Bruce Wayne, spoiler alert, by the way, is dead. And so he's no longer Batman. Now it is up to Batgirl, Robin, Nightwing, and Red Hood to take up the mantle, more or less, of Batman and protect Gotham City from various criminals, including Mr. Freeze, uh, which I saw in the gameplay trailer, and I'm guessing a bunch of other Batman villains. I don't know who's exactly in the game, uh, but there was a gameplay trailer, which I didn't think was as interesting as this trailer. Uh, it just kind of looks like Arkham Knight gameplay with other characters. So if you know what I'm talking about there. But this trailer looks super cool. I love the graphics of it. The only thing that I hate about video games or when they start showing me trailers like this one is because it's not gameplay footage, it looks super good. But when you play the game for some reason, it just sort of takes a step back because obviously you can't put a lot of these sort of deep cinematic moments, these beautiful moments like this one here, um, into a video game and make it constantly like that. Uh, but for the most part, I think, whoops, I just bought my camera, sorry. Um, for the most part, it looks like an interesting game. I don't know how Barbara Gordon, because if I remember right, she was still Oracle in the video games, as far as I remember. So how this is gonna work out, I don't know. Also, I think, was Red Robin or Tim Drake in that game? I want to say he was, or one of the Arkham games. Where he is in this, I don't know, because it looks like it's Damien, possibly, uh, along with uh, Dick and Barbara and Jason. So how it all is going to work out, again, I don't know. I probably will not play this video game unless there's a lot of hype behind it. But for the most part, I think I'm just kind of done with video games. But the only reason I even bought a PS4 was to play Arkham Knight. Now if this is like one of those PS5 exclusives, I don't know because it's going to be either single player or co-op. You can play with two at a time. So that part is kind of cool, but I'm mostly a single player person, not a big online or multiplayer. But as you can see in this trailer, it looks very much like the Arkham games and Arkham Knight especially. Uh, anything else? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how Red Hood became part of the family in this, because uh, if you remember in, if you have played Arkham Knight, or played through the majority of it, the Arkham Knight basically is Jason Todd. I don't remember him turning to become, like, a good enough guy for Batman to trust him by the end of that game. I don't recall that at all. Um, but maybe it's Tim Drake? that could be uh, Red Hood in this one. That's the only thing that kind of makes sense, I guess. Because if it was Jason Todd, it was too, um, like it, it was just too quick of a turnaround. There's no way that he could have developed this relationship with Bruce post being basically brainwashed by the Joker in order for them to reconcile and these other three to trust him. At least that's my opinion. I don't know about you guys. Um, and then another interesting thing about this trailer, and it's going to show it in a minute, um, it looks like, oh, for some reason there's time trans or not time, like a teleportation por portals, I guess? I don't really understand that. I've never seen that within the Batman universe, at least for uh, the Bat family. The motorcycle looks cool. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, there's Mr. Freeze. Um, Batgirl looks pretty awesome. Um, oh, at the very end of this trailer, which you're going to see in a second, is the Court of Owls. So how that's going to play into um, the narrative, because that's mainly a Batman thing, from what I remember, the Court of Owls storyline. I don't know how that really affected the rest of the team or the Bat family. It just, I don't really know, maybe it's just going to be like a playable mission. It, I hope it's not the main story, because it doesn't really make sense as to how it fits in. 
a lot of this game I feel like I haven't figured out yet, but maybe it's just been a really long time since I've played the Arkham games, so that could be my own thing. Um, uh, let's go back to the comments really quick while this trailer finishes out. <laughs> I've watched Suicide Squad more than once. Um, I tend to watch it in pieces. <laughs> uh, it's difficult to watch the whole thing uh, in one sit down. In one sitting, I should say. Let's turn that off for now. Uh, it's a sequel. I think you're talking about Gotham Knights. Yes, it's a sequel as far as I can tell. Because at the end of, again, this is a spoiler, at the end of Arkham Knight, um, essentially Batman, Bruce Wayne gets exposed as being Batman and decides to basically blow up the manor. And I guess that's where the red alert to the rest of the team gets sent out saying that he's no longer alive or what happened. Uh, and Red Hood cares now. That's exactly what I was saying. It, it makes no sense. It was at the end, it just shoehorned. Uh, that's Tim Drake. I think you're talking about the Robin character, which, I mean, I guess that makes sense. If it's Robin, if it's Tim Drake. Because, but he looked bigger in the previous games, because you could play him. And he was kind of like baldish and had like the hood and stuff. Um, but this one just looks smaller and stronger, so that's why I thought it was kind of Damien, but it makes sense if it's Tim Drake. Um, I think you meant Tim is Robin. Okay, well, Tim can be Robin. Chase is on the bikes. Yes, the bikes look like it might be the most interesting part. Uh, we've got we felt the blind guys in the house. What's up, Andrew? How you doing, man? Uh, welcome. Yes, of course. Okay, so we're gonna move right along. We're at 30 minutes already. Where's the past 30 minutes gone? I don't know, but we're gonna move right along because we still have... <laughs> I hope they don't do tank battles. Yes, tank battles were very prevalent in the Arkham game, or at least Arkham Knight, and I didn't really like that. Too much of that. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I would greatly appreciate that. Uh, thank you guys so much if you're here with me live. I do appreciate the support. Uh, if you guys ever want to suggest anything for me to talk about in terms of on live, on cinematic late, whatever the case may be, if you're like, I love this movie so much, I wish someone would give a little bit more light, I guess, or whatever the case may be, hit me up, uh, whether it be on my channel or any of my social medias. Uh, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all with the same handles, Aaron Waller White T. I would love to connect with you there if you were not able to already. Uh, but other than that, that's all I have for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys either in the next live, Cinematic Elite, or my next video in general. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.